Welcome back to the Dropouts Podcast. You are here with your host, Mar Sinclair, and to the right of me, we got the one and only. It's your boy, Bleezy. What's going on? Um, Today, we're going to be talking about some uh, trippy, dippy, whippy, lippy. Uh, some trippy dip. Trip, trippy dip. Some trippy dip. Trippy dip. I'm in. Jimmy. Jimmy, run that. Run that shit up. We created the dropouts to inspire people to drop out of society's predetermined notions of who you're supposed to be. On this channel, we cover art, fitness, and self-discovery through vlogs, music, and podcasts. We work hard and we like to have fun. And if you want to be a member of the dropouts, just hit that subscribe button. Alright guys, so as you can see... We're in a different set. We're at the uh, we're at one of our homies' houses. It's gonna be a, a surprise who it is. He's gonna walk on in. You guys are gonna be like, "Oh my god, it's him!" <laughs> They're gonna be excited. <laughs> oh my god, it's him! <laughs> it's gonna be like the best day of your life. It's that time. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> he just popped up. <laughs> yeah, this man's timing is impeccable, bro. No cap. You you cannot make this stuff up. That was pretty swag. That was fire. Man came in here we with got the a picture uh, while we're taking video. Yeah, yeah, right. What's your uh what do you what do you wanna go by? I know you were like like Matthew people don't know you. You know what I mean? Like you're like a secret agent, you know? Like I'm real, bro, I'm real not unique. Like Mystical. like your social medias don't even <laughs> got your like your your real names and shit, you know what I mean? Who's the man behind the curtain? There's really someone behind this. Yeah, there is someone behind the curtain, but <laughs> that's the surprise. <laughs> nah, Matthew Deleuze. That's all the socials. and um, Deleuze? So one of these days, I might pay to change it. What if I make it my government? Oh, your and socials were your government. They could be again. Whoa. No, what if I change my name legally is what I'm saying. Oh, why not? I just don't know how that works. And I think you just possible. pay the money. I'm you mostly, just yeah. You just pull up and you go, hey, I want to change my name. And they're like... Literally whatever you want if it's available. Yeah. Um, M- Macaulay... What's his name? Macaulay Colvich? Macaulay Culkin. Culkin. He, made, he made his middle name Macaulay Culkin. So his name is Macaulay Macaulay... No. No, he... Macaulay Culkin, Macaulay Culkin. That's his name. That's fucked. The first time I ever heard about someone changing their names, my great-grandpa told me he was at, like, the office where you get your name changed, and he told me this guy got his name changed. <clears throat> he had his first name or whatever it was, like, David, and then his middle name was Speederman, Superman, <laughs> Spider-Man, faster than a speeding bullet, and then he had his last name. Now that I hear about it from this point, he might have been an MMA fighter. I don't know. It kind of goes with it, but... Wow. That's awesome. The so boy, Imagine writing that out on a check. Well, <laughs> quite the check. Initial. So, what are you, you going to change your name? You should do it. I've been thinking about changing my name. You should change your name. To I've been thinking about changing my name to, like, loves you or something, you know? cute right but i've been thinking about changing my name because like i'm like i want my family to like know exactly like i want to be like yo we're starting this shit now i thought about that is that fucked up nah this is like yo i don't know i feel like they just gotta know all my family history still (laughs) the internet wasn't around so it's like it was it was just wild Mm. back then it's kind of hard to like know what anyone had going on it's a new frontier you can change your name what would you change your name to anything these days (laughs) Uh, I don't know. That's a great question. Anything? Anything. Mongoose. Mongoose? You could make your name. first name Mon and your last name Goose. One name. I think you got to have Mon Goose, last... two names is kind of dope. Like, what's your name? Mon. Yeah. Your last name Goose. It's like Goose like... Man, but it's Mon Goose. Mon Goose. Oh. What if they call you Monty? I'm trying to make a goose superhero. Cut that part out, bro. I don't want to. I'll want bleep one. it. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm trying to bleep. Yeah. yeah. I want like an oriental last name. So like when they see it on paper, they're like, okay, they're expecting like some Japanese guy to come. In. <laughs> when I pull up, it's just I feel like, like oh, that's really a like that's that. a move you can make. I feel like people do that. They they'll change. Their I think name. that's a statement. That's so. funny. Yeah. I feel like some people would be angry with that, but that's just funny that you can do that. Like. 
Well, you Elon have to make Musk, your own name, though. Elon Musk and his shirty or one of his women. I feel like he has a harem or something. I don't know. But Elon Musk, his kids named like X X Y three some it's like shit. A math equation. Oh it's like yeah, I really do want to hear the pronoun or pronunciation. Pronunciation. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. I feel word. like it's. I like, thought he had to legally change it though. I thought they were giving a bunch of shit. That's funny. If so, I stopped hearing about it. I feel like they came up. Someone said Ash, and then it went away. Yeah, I heard him pronounce it once, and I was like, yeah, that's not what it says. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shout, shout out to that boy Elon, bro. What do you think he's doing right now? Making crunches. more kids. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> crunches and what? I said he's making more kids. Uh, that wow. guy's repopulating Earth. He he's really, the next Genghis Khan. He really is. He's fucking everybody. Elon Khan. <laughs> If we're not going to Mars, he'll have enough of his own to take with them. <laughs> I don't be good. like that. I'm seeing, like, a bunch of frozen vials. I'm just going to stop there. Whoa. <laughs> like, he has... <laughs> He's ready. In, like, a vault. Like, <laughs> at his house. The Tesla vault. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Loki, inside of every Tesla, there's actually, like, in a hidden compartment... Somewhere, and then, like, if something happens, Elon? he's gonna, like, just release it or something. A little bit of Elon symbiote. Oh, my uh, God. I, I feel like that shit goes for a lot of money, though. giving him ideas. Yo, I feel like if you think he'd cut us in. He's got to. I don't want to be part of it. <laughs> you don't? That's a bag, bro. Y'all got to You're I'm out? out. It was, hey, it was your idea, bro. but, like, got, I'll get in on that, I like bro. to be the man behind the scenes. He's got billions to spare. The mover and shaker that's hidden in the mist. Yo, you're on Twitter the most. What's Twitter like these days? Gross. Really? No, it's not bad, but it's weird. I feel like you're not seeing... You're seeing a lot of stuff that you don't follow, which can be cool because you see a lot of new shit, but it can be lame because you see a lot of lame shit. Mmm. Real deep. Do you still see, like, everything you saw before? No. That's one thing I don't like. You don't see your boys no more? No. Damn. They took away the homies? I feel like seven to eight out of ten posts you scroll past are, like, promoted or, like, so-and-so liked or so-and-so follows this account. Mm. That's everything, though. That's how, like, like, fucking Instagram's the same way. Yeah, I do feel like I see more personal posts on instagram maybe just because the format of how it's set up with like you know individual pictures there's still a lot of promoted posts but i don't get quite as much on my personal time oh i think you can change it maybe that's why maybe i have it on just like following Mm. but you can do that on twitter but because i get ads for days yeah me too Uh, but i'd be falling into the trap bro i'd be downloading the apps (laughs) they'd be like they'd be showing me like editing software i'd be like oh nah i don't i don't download the games but i'd be watching the whole shit and i'd be like yo you literally like all you had to do is this why did you go to like plus 30 when it had times Five, like they shoot into oh the wall God. and bounces right back and hits the player and it's like bro and then i want to oh, download man. it because i'm like man let me show you how it's really done like it can't be that hard in early apple days i had a lot of games yo games used to be the vibe games used to really be the vibe did Terrible you guys hear that as loud as I heard that? No, I heard it. <laughs> huh? Maybe I heard it through Terrible your headphones. Through my headphones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, we'll have to shoot a text. Nah, sometimes when the clout calls, you got to let it ring through at least once. Mm-hmm. That's where the sauce comes from. And the I got patience. the sauce. Yeah, like, are they going to pick up? Too. Or no? Y'all cannot know that. You said what? I said we're bleeping that out, too. Y'all cannot know that. Yeah, Secret. Rihanna's, real Rihanna's right pregnant again. Damn. You know what that means. ASAP a stay-at-home poppy. A stay-at-home poppy? Yeah. I don't know. I he hasn't been dropping be. music. Well, has he been? I heard about ASAP since a hot minute ago. Bro, he's just getting Rihanna pregnant. Like. I know. <laughs> he's a stay-at-home poppy. Like. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. My girlfriend just walked outside. <laughs> Thought that was to ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? 
try to be a stay at home poppy. Himself. What's ASAP Ferg up to? ASAP Ferg, I don't know, bro. Ad libs. Stop playing, man. ASAP been coming. I hope he's well. Yo, shout out to um, what's what's Bronson Cousins' name? Um, body, body. You know, big body. Never heard of him. Legend. He's. he's <laughs> I hope like, there's like there's writing cousin. about him eons from now. Yeah, he's like. He's a motivational speaker, whether he realizes it or not. He, he knows. Yeah. yeah. Uh, on Fuck That's Delicious, Bald, not Mayhem Loren. But you definitely got to watch some episodes on that. He's quite the being. A demigod, mayhaps. A demigod. Yo, all right. So we were talking about this earlier. <laughs> Is Theo Von real? Or is Theo Vaughn, like, one of the best actors ever? I think he might be a Hollywood A-list actor. And he hit, just has the role of a lifetime. Bro, I yeah. think it's real. I think he could have went to school in Cabarrus County. I feel like I, <laughs> I, feel like I know multiple Theo Vaughns. I do. I do. That's why and I don't think it's real. They're actually Theo Vaughns, though. He's like, he knows a lot of Theo Vaughns. Oh, you're saying On a that Drewski the Theo type Vons, deal. You're saying that the... That some of the locals Ooh. be be fronting. Opposite. Opposite. The locals are who they are. They're really the Theo Vons, and then yeah, he's met can. a lot of those, <laughs> and he knows how to do it. Oh, you're saying there's no way like a Theo Vaughn would be this good at the internet? Yeah, it'd be exposed. He's also by older. Now. I feel like Theo Vaughn was just. He's a lot older. I feel like Theo Vaughn just like met someone really funny, and they were like, "Dog, you're fucking funny," and he was just like. Dude. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> no way, dude. I'll tell you what. Oh, I'll shit. Tell you what. Oh, God. Yo, when, when, got down, when he told Mike Perry to punch him, did you see that shit? No. No, when was this? You didn't see it? No. He was on a pull, pull that up. up. <laughs> pull that up. <laughs> hey, dude, pull that so up. So, what? Mike Perry punched. Y'all seen that video? How recent ago was this? I feel um, like within the last two years, am I right? I'm guessing. Mm. I didn't see it. No, like recently. Oh, shit. Well, I got a friend. <laughs> oh, fuck. Wait, is it in the face? <laughs> no, no. He, they, they, he was going to let him punch him in the face. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. I'm just have to play it out loud. Hold on. Yo, I'm not trying to. <laughs> Where to smell insults? <laughs> Mike Perry looks like Tyrion Lannister a little bit right here. He does look like Tyrion Lannister. I stay ready for my opportunities to to put these paws on motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Fucking punch somebody. You punch me? Nah, nah, bro. I don't know. Punch me, bro. It's cool, bro. Nah. Nah. Size them up. Nah. You could do like a belly shot. I don't know if I could do You think I could do it? I could do it pretty, probably pretty good. You think? <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> yeah, he pulled his punch a this man just punched in slow-mo. He said, all right, bro, you got to hit me now. <laughs> he just stopped on him, bro. <laughs> Yo, that's a duo that I didn't know that I needed. I thought you said Mike Perry punched Theo Vaughn, not I Theo Vaughn punched yeah. Mike Perry. <laughs> oh, I, I thought say, I was going to see some good shit. Did I say oh, that's the shit. wrong one? I, like, I was like, Theo Vaughn's going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> or even if it's a body shot, I was like, okay. Folding. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm okay. So we were about to see Theo Vaughn origami. You thought you were going to see Theo Vaughn die? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so, bro, have you seen that video? <laughs> see? Um, a real Theo Vaughn would have gotten punched too. He's like, all right, I punch you. You can punch me. A real Theo Vaughn yeah. if it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. oh, You're oh, right. It's, you see what I'm saying? What's funny he is that the it's still a Theo Vaughn. Like, that's still the like the spectrum of like Theo Vaughn. <laughs> <laughs> like, but is he real? That's wild. I feel like... No. Do you think Theo Vaughn has ever been like punched? Yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm pretty sure he said, he said so. There's got to be stories. I feel like he looks like the guy who would tell a story about getting punched, probably doing comedy. 
I feel like he hadn't been punched since he was a little kid. Yeah, I agree. Definitely probably the How's kid he going to feel about him and his friends? Yeah. yeah. Talking about getting like, punched. <laughs> Like he was like, "Yo, let's fight," and then he got punched and was like, "I never want to do that again." And then just like, <laughs> it's like maybe it. I should just be really funny. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I don't if I'm like funny, no one will ever punch me. Getting punched isn't. I feel like getting being too funny makes you get punched. It's not in the face. I prefer it not in the face. Yeah, I prefer it not in the face. <laughs> what if? <laughs> <laughs> Wind it up, yo. yo like, I just want y'all to know, like, one of my greatest inspirations, bro. Popeye. Popeye? Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Talk to us about the the crazy. Popeye fucking conspiracy theory. Conspiracy theory, bro. Popeye is. Oh, Popeye's broken. He's overpowered, <laughs> mm-hmm. and maybe God level. One hundred percent. There's not a single superhero, supervillain in any universe you could possibly think of. Who could beat Popeye? I'm not gonna argue that. He's on his shapeshifter shit. Like, tell us some of the wild things Popeye has done. I mean, I think he was like destroyed, maybe evaporated. I feel like that's not the right verb, but he was not there anymore, and like his like soul or whatever just called spinach to him, ate it, came back to life, whooped that ass. Um, yeah, man's crazy off the spinach. He, uh, stepping out of the 2D realm into whatever, like, being controls that, they, like, turned it off, and he just, like, came out and was like, why did you do that? Whoop that ass. He's got a philosophy I can get behind. Is it like the gremlins when they eat after dark? In that sense? It's more like Wim Hof right after an ice bath. Gotcha. Like... Indestructible by Disturbed. You could argue that, like, Popeye... Popeye wouldn't go start beef with God. But, like, if God did something that inconvenienced Popeye's shorty, Popeye's gonna handle it. Just off that can of spinach. So what if you don't have the spinach? He will literally, like, just generate spinach. Like yeah, if or he you can whistle, call so it to him. If you chop Popeye up, is he just spinach? like a spinach deity. Yes, if you chop him up in a blender, and then just like throw it on the ground, he'll like regenerate. Yeah, without a doubt. Same flavor. Popeye's beyond imagination. There's like debate, um, like online, what real person he's based off of. But uh, the fact that it could even be a real person, I think, is legendary. And I think he probably did all those things. He's that dude. Shout out to Popeye. He's really him. <laughs> Timothy. Who's your oh, favorite man. superhero? That com- or that cartoon was wild as fuck, yeah. It was. That guy's trying to rape little girls and he would save them, you know? Yeah. That was the whole show. Yeah. Bluto? They, they were and olive oil. <laughs> they were trying to... He was aggressive. I never liked him as a kid. Who? Bluto? Bluto? I think they changed his name at some point. Is that someone else in Popeye? Yeah, yeah he's trying to get I, his girl. I know it's Popeye. That shit was so long ago. I know Popeye. Probably one of the first cartoons I've watched growing up. I know Popeye Superhero. and Popeye's girly. Fave? What's his girly's name? Olive Oil. Really? Yes, literally. That's cute. She's bad. Damn. It's been a minute. You said she's bad? Let me I'm not, not going to stand behind Let me it. not disrespect Popeye not before it. Popeye fucking, like, just punches Ooh, me. He could come here. He could, he could come here. I feel like if you say Popeye too many times, like, he'll just show up. If Popeye was, like, a person who used Twitter, he would beat up Elon Musk. Pop, pop. <laughs> <laughs> pop, pop. <laughs> Yo, who's your favorite superhero? Superman. So I'm about to look at all my Funkos. Who the fuck is my favorite? Superman? Yeah. He's a classic boy. Yeah. American. Yep. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 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 Why Superman? Strong. Can fly. Honestly, Ooh. the flying for me, like, just being able to fly wherever the fuck I want to go. Yeah. Who said I got to be a superhero, too, you know? Yeah, you could be a Death Eater. You think you'd be a supervillain? Who 
got, who says I gotta be any of those things? I can't just be a guy with powers around just the have world powers. to my advantage. Have yeah. powers? Would they be super, or would they just oh, be? Oh yeah, that would be super. What if I told you that you can fly? That's yeah. pretty fucking super. Yeah, yeah. I fly in my dreams. <laughs> it's kind of Iron Man ish though. <laughs> like you be flying like with not aware necessarily of like engines out of, out of my your hands. hands, but yeah, not necessarily out of my hands, but just like you know, I don't have wings. I'm you don't flapping. have wings. No. But you are flying. I am. Are you conscious of it? Yes. That's are you dope. conscious you of the fact that yourself? you're dreaming? Yes. Where do you like to go? Where do I like to go? Yeah. Oh, I feel like it depends. Sometimes I'm just, you know, kind of moving around. Sometimes they're chasing me, bro. Who? <laughs> oh, depends. my God. And uh, flying helps. I get tired. That's what's crazy is I don't have wings, but I'll get tired and I won't be able to fly as well. And I'm just like, bro, this makes no sense. What's getting tired? Because all, yeah, all I'm doing is floating. Yo, I, dreams are yo. It's don't like go to sleep. Do not go to sleep. I've um I fly in my dream sometimes, but it's more of a floating, like I'm like kind of yeah. Oh no, literally quite. like I'm oh, like this. That boy's waiting. And in then the and then I only ether. do it indoors. I've never been like willing to do it outside because when do I it. do it indoors, I get stuck in the corner sometimes, like of the room. Like I just yeah. be up against the wall, but I could just like push myself. Right, you gotta a go, go up. Nah. Gotta do it, bro. Go up, go up. <laughs> I gotta stop. <laughs> go to sleep so right now. <laughs> what if I can't come back down? You will, and if not, you'll wake up at some point. So it's or no, my, it's I cool. feel like my dream would just change. Cause like, like you can really like, you can go, bro. Imagine I get nice with it. You can, bro. I'm Damn. there. I wish, bro. We got a link. <laughs> we got a link. Yeah, you think that's real? Potentially like, that inception not... shit. Well, there's oh, been like I don't like that. What do you mean by Inception? Is that not? Is that the Inception. name of the movie? The movie where they go deep, they go like into someone's dream or some shit. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but I feel like that just went so poorly that now I just don't like the idea. <laughs> like, well, we don't gotta go be well. weird. We don't gotta like okay. go in people's dreams to find out we the passwords link. to their computers. It's just like a like like a Xbox party kind of deal. Just yeah. you and your boys. Because they would go, Ooh. they would like hijack dreams. They were just like, oh, motherfuckers. It was fucking on Black Mirror though. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that episode, <laughs> but I know about it. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, hey, pull that up. They, <laughs> they always are fucking on Black Mirror, but was it? I know there's a dream one. Oh, well, I can't remember the dream one. I know they was fucking in the video game. Yeah, it was like a VR type. type <laughs> Did you see that episode? I think so. Yeah. I watched all Black Mirror. It's just been a hot minute. Yeah, they yeah Black Mirror would get crazy sometimes. Bro, out of this world. I didn't finish them because it got crazy <laughs> fucking pigs and whatnot. I think that's like the only one I didn't see because people would that's always good. talk to me about that one. And I'm like, wait, <laughs> that's, that's what? Good. I didn't need it. I didn't need it at all. I used to go to sleep to that shit. I'm always scared to watch shit because sometimes it's bad. And I don't know why, but I really will feel like I wasted my time if I've just like watched TV and it was bad. What if it was good? I like that, and I'm like, damn, man, I need to watch more shit. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's a tough... No in between. It's a teeter-totter. What you watching these days? Not much, really. Fights. Fights? Yo, you see that Mike Tyson movie? Or series? Movie? I watched the series? series? Movie, yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't enjoy it just because I, I couldn't relate the character to Tyson. Yeah, he didn't really look like Mike Tyson. Yeah. I feel that. But it, I like I like teenage that. Mike Tyson and kid Mike Tyson, but when he was the grown up Mike Tyson, yeah, it was like I know what this guy is supposed to look like. Why didn't they let Mike Tyson be the oldest Mike Tyson? I think he was upset about how they were doing it. Yeah, I, that's probably why I they had probably tried to really to dramatize it too. I heard they like didn't even pay him out for his portion of that. I don't like that. They literally made it about not him. my king. Yeah, I think What's they did him dirty. Go knock out the CEO. That'd be dope. I like the Mike Where Tyson mystery show because usually that's how it goes. He just knocks people out. In the mystery show? Yeah, he's got like a mystery solving team. It's animated. Really? I, I don't know if he writes it, but I do think he's the creator of the show. And I hope he writes. It wouldn't surprise me just by how the episodes go. But then like real Mike Tyson, like not animated, is at the end usually talking at the end. Like sitting on a stool. <laughs> it's really cute. 
But they don't have it for free right now, I don't think. Unless you got like a premium something. I'll pay for that. I'll pay I'll for wait. some like you should. Mike Tyson. It's really good. I'll binge that. Yeah, that sounds good. I did. I usually watch that before slumping. Yeah, I can't believe it. Wait, you paid for it and then Nah, it was just used to be on Hulu. Oh, okay. At that time it wasn't even my own Hulu account, so Hell yeah. I feel like you shouldn't use your own Hulu account. I had my own, I but then I lately. was like I got commercials though. I think I had commercials. Yeah, I definitely got commercials on my Hulu. Damn. Everyone back to commercials. Here we are on streaming. I on know, demand. Right? the fuck is this with commercials my girlfriend has like a family of like a thousand so like they all get different shit but they get the good stuff and they all like share it so i just be like yo use yours because it'd be they got the good stuff you know Mm -hmm. what i mean Uh, yeah Uh, i've been using my friend's parents hbo max but i feel like i've logged in too many times i know they get an email every time (laughs) yeah i think never never talked about it i just screenshot it the first time i got sent it i have so many people's different accounts i think the only thing we actually pay for is hulu and nikki does because it's like with her spotify Oh, yeah. The rest we got on Netflix is my brother. It's a lot of bundles. Yeah. Like HBO I got from somebody else. Yeah, it's a community I thing, think bro. I there's like a Disney. Bro, I heard ESPN. like Netflix is about to get on some bullshit. Nah, no, they tried log it. Log in with your password to your Wi-Fi soon. Forget the... F- yeah, and that's how they're going to know that you're using different like networks. They oh, tested no, it they were going to... They were going to do something like that, but then everybody was like, yo, we're Fuck just you. not going to use it. <laughs> like, like so the, they said... No, nah, they well that was they came out a couple of months ago. People can say this, but still, who's king? Netflix is definitely, I would say, king. Yeah, but then motherfuckers would Hulu just stop has using what? it. They only have shows that come from real TV. HBO Max is good for movies, but that's about it. And it's a movie that comes uh, from I theaters. I don't know. I feel like HBO is making my favorite television right now. What's put me on? What am I missing out on? Um, what is the more recent shit I've watched? A lot of shit I'm rewatching. I say right now, but it's like, well, let me take that back. I don't know if you'd be into it, but Los Spookies, it's a bilingual English and Spanish, so I don't know how much you fuck with subtitles, but it's hilarious. I'm bilingual. Uh, Game of Thrones on there and House of the Dragon, which House of the Dragon, I, both of those were made by HBO, obviously, but House of the Dragon's more recent. It was like, I think it came out last year. That was the spinoff to... Uh, it was like a prequel. Prequel, that's right. Yeah, that's it takes place like maybe 200 years before, but I feel like they got even better at their television making. I feel like it was done even... Which, there was a lot of really good TV, obviously, with Game of Thrones, but I feel like they learned from it. Got I didn't even watch the Game of Thrones either. Righteous Gemstones, fucking hilarious. That just came out, I think, in the last like maybe five years, but it's a comedy. It's like... Adam Devine from Workaholics is... I fuck with Adam. And Workaholics Danny, used to Danny be McBride, shit. you know him. Uh, guy with the mullet, curly mullet. He's in almost everything comedy. Maybe. Oh, fuck, what? Let me think. Tropic Thunder. Okay. He blows up the napalm shit. Uh, why can I not think of more shit right now? Eastbound and Down, if you've ever seen that. But anyways, they're brothers and they have a sister and their dad is the pastor of a mega church. In like the Carolinas. <laughs> oh wait, is this a is this real life? It's not, but it's based off of the okay. real like real shit, okay. and it's so fucking funny. I was gonna, say, I don't know why that that like plot was funny, but then I was like, maybe let me stop laughing before so this is like. It's so. Funny, it sounded bro. like some something that could have actually like. Y'all need like, to watch we that. Known. What's the name of it? Righteous gemstones. Righteous gemstones. Everyone's always like uncut gems. <clears throat> Which I Wait, so seen. explain the plot for me one more time. Okay, so it follows a family named the Gemstones. And the father is... Him and his wife, who's not alive anymore, have kind of went from being like small town people. He is a pastor and they build it into a megachurch, like a fucking financial empire, basically. They have an amusement park and a massive arena that they do church at with a rock band. Kind of like you fucking see. And um, so the mom's not around anymore. They got three kids, a daughter, two sons, and they're all dipshits. <laughs> and Well, are they their parents grown. are rich as fuck? Yeah. And like at this point, he's uh, the dad. What is his name? The dad is his name? Levi? Oh. Just 
I can't. I'm not going to do the names right now. But the pastor is a grandpa at this point. Like, the kids have kids. Well, one of them does. Two of them don't. Anyways, they run a mega church and it just goes terribly because when you're super rich, um, shit be crazy. The mega church world is just crazy. <laughs> because, you know, they're not living like. They're living lavish. For sure. All right. And should they're we, doing wild things. Should we cop one? A church? A cop, a mega church. You, bro, like, just open up an elevation. I feel like. I Is feel it a like, franchise, like a Chick fil A kind of. I feel like if you go to elevation.com, like, you could find Open a tab. Open Elevation. But yeah. I heard the Elevation that's right by my crib in Cornelius. Elevate. Like, we had a scandal or some shit. Like, Elevate. money laundering type shit. Why else would you open up a mega church though? But you don't get caught. That's right. Well, no. you. Yeah, they flew too close to the sun. They did something silly. Not they had some, what, effect. some contractor found something in the walls. Really? Yeah, I think that's what Whoa. it was. They had like Whoa. just like a lot of cash behind behind the walls. That's so stupid, right? Why would you keep it on site? Exactly. I know he didn't want to take it home. Why not? Have a second home if you got that much cash. Right. I'm putting it somewhere else. Right? It's not, not the gonna church. be there. Literally, not like the put it Hell in the no. middle of the woods. Like you rather someone find it than you just fucking ruin Our your whole the operation. New banks? You can't even use it at the church. Church robbers. Right? You want to go get it? He got to... <laughs> what are you doing they in there? Break this fucking wall down. Right. Yeah, right? He said, you know, I'm, uh, where'd the drywall go? Need a small <laughs> He said, I just felt like we needed an open floor plan. That's wild. You think and a mattress... I got a Bugatti. Wait, who got a Bugatti? The pastor? I, I don't know anything about this story. Bugatti. Um, Andrew Tate's out of jail. Still on house arrest. Y'all, how we feeling? I don't know anything about this. How we feeling? To- Jeez, Jail's not jail. Dope. The he's out of the Romanian jail. I don't know if he has lung cancer. I heard about. that. I think that. that was just him trying to get out, bro. You saw how many guards he was posting as soon as he got out. His boy's been chief in guards. <laughs> he got out. Does, I, mean, I feel no like that. Fucking lung cancer. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, he looked no. more buff when he came out than he went in, and they were like claiming malnourishment and this. Like, you don't gain size, muscles, like size, yeah. like, if bolt. you're not eating, bro. You he know what bolt. I mean? Yeah. Nah, bro. He did a thousand push ups. You think they okay, gave him the well, same? Oh, to- was he on his one punch? <laughs> and that's why the hair was coming? <gasps> Oh, that's why he's losing oh, his hair. Oh, yeah, he's not. He does so many push ups. He's been really grinding. I see. Top G shit. <laughs> <laughs> i see yeah bros uh i don't yeah i don't know i don't have a seen. i seen the one video where he's talking about like what he would fuck and what he wouldn't fuck and that's basically it have you seen that video i pull that up real quick <laughs> you don't have to you don't have to pull that shit up. pull it up recent we might, y'all yeah. go look it up like Post. He said, "Would you was this, it Megan Fox? Yeah, would you rather? <laughs> was it, is that who it was or Hulk Hogan? <laughs> would you rather fuck Megan Fox, but trans? Like I think he just said with a dick, with a dick, or Hulk Hogan, but it's an actual woman with a pussy. And his answer was Megan, Megan Fox. Fox, cause." Looks, looks like a quite woman. Quite open minded. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know if he looks at it that way. How long but you been in Thailand? That's the only. <laughs> that's the only video. <laughs> you said that I've seen a bro. The lady boys. The lady boys. Yo, they be looking like real ladies. That's what you be saying. Because I, I be think on. I could tell still. Bro, no, they be looking like real ladies sometimes, bro. Yeah, but how they it's sound, the bro. No, when they when they talk. Okay. Yeah. Let's be real, though. No, I'm talking There's about indicators. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, 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 I'm not saying that he got bamboozled. I think he made it like his decision. I don't think you go all the way through and like realize. I think you probably just get real drunk and he just don't care or whatever. But I'm just saying they like at first glance, like I mean, they're lady boys. You know, some of them fight too. That's hot. 
I saw this, <laughs> bro. I saw it was kind of fucked up, bro. They had this. It at first I was like, oh, I thought this dude was just beating the shit out of this girl, but they were like, in Thailand, the trans women fight with the men, and it just looked crazy. Cause like, I'd like I to. Think I feel I like that's a cultural difference. That, not even that. I just want to see them fight, up, but bro. like beating this person that up. Very I was like, interesting. I get it, but like, damn, this is why it shouldn't even be a thing. You know, they're like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Was beating that person. I, I don't up. think a fully trans woman should fight a man. Do you think they should fight person. women though? Huh? Who do they no. fight? Other trans women. Oh, like there's if a that's trans what you league. Wanna, yeah, that, that's what it's gotta be too. It should be trans you know? anyone, like trans women, trans people. Why I've been is interested in seeing like one, different people's you know? opinions, even like You're gonna from go- different trans people and athletes. Cause I don't really know. Like, but I see Neil deGrasse Tyson too has talked about this, and I can't remember exactly what all he said. But I've just been really interested because it's gonna come up. Like, people want to play sports. Sports people are want. dope, and I'm just really curious. Like, how are we gonna? <clears throat> we gotta approach it somehow. It's probably gonna have to be more organized. But I just don't know how. I don't know what it's gonna look like. Like Bruce Jenner would have gotten the medals. Regardless, but imagine he was Caitlyn already. Like he would have definitely gotten the medals, and they would have always been like, "Dog, that was unfair." Yeah. That's why I feel like, we're, like right now, they're trying to kind of like just sweep it under the rug and do the bare minimum, and just be like, "Sure, y'all are allowed to play." And I feel like they're gonna have to like put more thought into it because right now people are not happy. To come along with the right idea that uh, everybody can jump along with and say that it, it definitely works won't be everybody. It but doesn't yeah. work for enough people, you know. Just right. like they do with everything. I really like the idea. Where Just the like goes. I mean, there's always been excluded like groups from sports, and they had to figure out a way. So, I like the idea of the whole trans league, like. Where they all like fight each other, like just. Bro, that's a hit. I, I guarantee you, like a lot of people are gonna be watching that. I would watch that shit. <laughs> They're like, "What's going on?" I would watch that shit. I would. I want to support that. But I just, I personally don't think it's fair in either way, and even for them, in a sense. You know? Yeah, one thing that I did see with like that. What you just said, making them fight a full man, like. Yeah, well, there's a and, lot of difference from having testosterone from birth than. From whenever you started taking it. Taking yeah. It, you know? So, like, and the, the trans woman, like, like, they had, you know, just a more feminine body that was a little more softer, mm-hmm. a little more plush. And, like, this dude was, like, just fit. He was cut. So, the weight difference. Oh, this video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There so, this dude. Fight, right? this dude. <laughs> it was in a boxing ring. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, pull up that video real quick. Yeah, it was, it was, uh, I will pull up this video. Pulling up a lot of videos. It wasn't fair. It was a clip of what I saw, actually. I didn't see a full video. Uh, I didn't know if there was a full I don't want to see no one get beat up too bad. No, 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 no. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it was a clip. It was a clip. I don't know if we'll find this clip. or something. How the fuck I go to shorts on here? Filters. Right there is a whole tab. It says shorts on the left. Oh, shit. I feel like I'm more listening to the athletes talking about it, too. Which I know you're going to get all kinds of opinions, but... Yeah, I was getting crazy in these shorts. Oh, for a second I was like, who's in what shorts? But you mean YouTube shorts. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know if we're going to be able to get yeah, this one. Be tough. Hi, pull up... Uh, no, I'm kidding. I don't know if we're going to be able to get this one. We haven't even gotten any of them topics. What's one of them topics we got? Oh, shit. What's your boy's favorite psychedelic? See, well, they got shrooms or, let's see. Um, oh, we got shrooms. What? We got acids and we got... Mescaline? <laughs> oh, yeah. The boy went a Is few steps up. I think mescaline's peyote. Mescaline. Am I... I think. You be on that? No, nope. you tell me. It sounds like you know. No, who I got know. it? <laughs> DMT? Is anyone DMTing? I've never yet. I uh, have. I've had the opportunity, but I'm just like, I'll know when I'm ready. What form? Ooh, smoking it. I don't know yeah. what. I Something's don't, I don't dried be, up. I feel like the cart DMT. I'm like, that's not like. I don't yeah, like that's that. What, I'm saying. what is I'm it like, mixed I don't with? Know about that. That's not. Y'all want to lick the toad? Honestly, like, I think licking the toad might have been the best thing that's happened to Mike Tyson. It seems like he might feel that way. Maybe not the best thing, but it's up there. 
but I it sounds very like it's like boom. Like I've heard when you smoke it because I know some people who have, which I think is still DMT with the toad. Either way, you well, think it's it the is. same drug. Yeah, you're in tripping the, balls. But smoking it, it's more of like a you get higher and higher and then you break through. Whereas the toad, it's like, what am I doing? And then bam, you're fucked. You like scare a toad and then lick its ass. <laughs> and then <laughs> and you're fucking high. I heard. This. I like shrooms. But I agree. Ahead. To the DMT shit, I heard there's this like lab doing studies with people Ooh. on a constant DMT drip. Oh, never mind. So they're just, you know how typically it's <laughs> a like, really in, like but... quick, you're up in there and then you're back down. I think down. I saw some studies 15 like minutes that. max. But now they're like keeping people in that state. Oh, that's kind of scary. Yeah. Wait. Keeping? I saw people doing like short trips because it's, it's in slow a drip. You know what I'm saying? Essentially, like they're hooked up to uh, an IV and uh, they're just on a drip. Black wait, of DMT. but are they like microdosing or are they like I just know, fucking gone? Fuck. <laughs> no, not zombied. Because <laughs> like, I, okay, if they're fucking eleven. I you, witnessed I a trip. They're not here. You know, you're out. Like you're they're in like another world, just dripped out. I got a boy, who, dripped out. He was smoking it. He do be dripped out, but not like that. But he, so I mean, bro, definitely kind of slumped. You know, it was some music playing, but it was funny because then a song finished and he was like, "Hey, bro, can you play that again?" <laughs> <laughs> right back to sleep, and I was like, "Wow!" Like he'd done it before. He's been there. He's he a, knows the ropes. A veteran. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like. What are you doing tonight? I don't know. Maybe do, <laughs> do some a little DMT, DMT. Listen to some music on repeat. So yeah. You say shrooms. I said shrooms too. What about you? I honestly, I feel like shrooms are the safest because like mushrooms. But I say acid, bro. But it's just hard. To, I don't. It's hard to come by like chemicals. I don't Lab grade. Like, yeah, like I don't. I don't like chemicals. I I much rather keep it all natural. But um, I like I like acid because I like when shit goes like this, like Ooh. that shit. I just like that. That just it. I, I just like the visuals. Like that's such a vibe to me. Like I feel like I've tri- I've tripped acid by myself too, and like I'm not even like tripping that hard. It's just really just like I just like seeing shit. Just sitting there being like, wow, I never thought about seeing shit this way. And then like it just kind of inspires like art stuff, like visual art, like painting or video editing or whatever shit like that like you know like the movie fear loathing in las vegas oh, oh shit. yeah i've watched that movie a few times uh, like bro. just what? like the trippy shit that happens in that movie oh, and smart. it's just like a lot like when they're like it's like this isn't like exactly what acid looks like but it's like nah like this it it, it kind of happens i remember one time bro i got a freaking tab and um I got it from one of my homies, and then he was like, yo, let me know if this shit even works. It's been in my wallet for, like, over a year. Sheesh. And I was like, all right, bet. And then, Still like, tough. I ate it, and then, like, bro, it's been, like, 45 minutes, and I was, I texted homie, and I was like, yo, I think this shit is a dud. And I pressed send, and that shit went boop. And then I just saw that shit float all the way off my phone screen into the sky. And I was like, he said, I'm a dud. I texted him immediately after and said, never mind. And then I just turned my phone off. And I was like, oh, all right, here we go. I always and, feel like shrooms are easier to like. Maybe it's just because the way you get them. They'd be hurting to, my tummy. Like do smaller amounts or control the amount. See, I want to do a lot though. Last time I did shrooms, I did like six G's. That's what make me feel sandy. I was crazy. I felt crazy. Six G's is a lot. I felt I crazy. I know for some people, like, they'd be really wilding out. Many more. <laughs> Don't try this at home. <laughs> yeah, someone was with me who was kind of weird. But yeah, I had, I had took a, a good amount. Ooh. But like, and it was just like, a part of me was just like, it made me really want to like lay down. But also like, my stomach was just like... Like I be when I get excited, like my stomach be giving me problems. You know, like I just be like, oh, I'm excited. Like You're too horny for the trip. I'm too horny for the trip. You know what I mean? So when I'm really tripping and and like I'm excited, I'm already got having some stomach issues. And then when you mix like mushrooms into the mixture, like my stomach just be like, and I'm like, should I eat? And I'm like, nah. 
eating yeah. on psychedelics is hard. Yeah, you gotta yes. make sure you stay hydrated. The water is weird too, especially on like acid. Being in water. Drinking water. Oh, I want to oh. be in water. One time I was tripping and I had goggles on and I was at a like Ew. neighborhood pool and I was just like under the water and I was just like. Oh shit! No, no, I was, sca- I was scared that I might. I, I, I actually had that fear. I was like, I hope I don't try to breathe. But I was just like underwater, and I was just like, at first I was like, wow, this is beautiful. This is like what like fishy. Like this is such a like cool like visual. And then I started getting like, damn, bro, like this is a whole ass pool, and this would suck if this is all I had. And I was like, in relation to me. This is like a regular fish in like a pretty decent sized fish tank, and I was like, "Oh, this is kind of limited." Yeah, I never really fucked with it. I like fish, and I don't like. I'm not a hater, I guess. If you got fish, but I don't want to keep a fish in like a small little thing. I want like a Bass Pro Shop size thing if I'm gonna have an aquarium. And I'm gonna get in that bitch too. Swim with them. Some fish likes to be pet, and I like that. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely pet my fishies. You see that there's a video of a fucking guy getting attacked by a sea turtle, but since it's a sea turtle, like <clears throat> the sea turtle's trying to be like aggressive, I but it can it. only go so fast in water, so it's like, and then he's just like, yeah, I'd be like, and what then are you eventually doing, bro? the sea turtle comes up and he takes his like fucking uh, oxygen thing off and just puts bubbles all up in the sea turtle's face, and then the sea turtle's like, yo, fuck that, <laughs> this guy's crazy. <laughs> That's funny. Nature is funny, bro. You just got to kind of make a scene, make a hubbub, and most things will leave you alone. A hubbub. So what was yours? What's your? You said shrooms are your fave? Yeah, I agree. Shrooms. Why so? How so? Just the time. How do you what take them? I, I love the taste of shrooms. People are like, oh, they taste nasty. Bro, they taste like pumpkin seeds to me. Oh. <laughs> They're not bad at all. Oh. <laughs> I could maybe throw up like, right now. Oh my god, now. I need a sandwich. I'm like, ew, no, not even. Anything just makes them. Bad. I've done a lot, yeah, because I don't like them. They they make They're me want to yak. I usually, I, I usually just raw dog them, but like it sucks. Whoa. No, I've never had an experience where it's like, okay, this is disgusting. I just eat a bunch and I'm Whoa. like, oh, and then I drink some orange. Y'all be seeing juice mold like, on them ever? Mold, you ever nah, see mold on no. the shrooms? Nah, never. If there's mold on that shit, <laughs> I think I'm gonna eat it. Yeah. I have seen mold on the shrooms. I mean, this probably gonna be a lot better. Let me just say, bro, <laughs> it is food poisoning that's making you trip. It was a wild guy, one. That's why it's fungus poisoning. You know, it's food poisoning essentially. So that mold, my hey, bro, it was a good trip. That's that moldy saying. shit. I feel like that moldy shit was fire. It tasted like ass. So like that moldy shit was fire. No wonder why you got a bad fucking taste. <laughs> but I mean, You're I've done monster. shrooms a good. I've, okay, so so first time, drank them in lemon juice because I heard that shit will make lemon I heard that, it. and it was a wild. Yeah, bro, that's a shit. wild trip. It's quicker and it's a lot yeah. Stronger, I was so. like. Well, I fucked up. Know, I ate a lot know. of I ate a lot of weird snacks, so I ended up being on the toilet for many hours, With not the being able to poop. Oh, it was that's tragic. The worst. It was tragic. I puked. Oh. <laughs> it felt good though after that. Oh, I could hear the music. Bro. You were you were one to puke and rally. Yeah. <laughs> Peak and rally. Yeah. It's Once it's out, you're good. <laughs> I'm one of the pukers who are like I'm like nah. I think that I think I'm done. <laughs> What's up, pukes? Like, what's the worst it's that could happen? For me, yeah. I'm a puke and rally. Right? What if it's like breaking I don't the puke seal? Often, but if I do, it's like once reason. you puke, you just keep puking throughout the night. Oh, I fucking hate. Puking. <laughs> no, it was a great trip. I've ate them with a like what are the whatever the Wendy's chicken sandwiches are called. You gross. ate that with your shrooms? I had nothing else. I had, you had the shrooms. That's all you knew. You I had, had the shrooms and I had that sandwich and I was like, I can't do these shrooms alone. Oh, I feel like I would not want to do shrooms in fast food. And if I was going to eat fast food, I'm going to enjoy it and not ruin it with it fucking sucks. shrooms. Oh, moldy shrooms. Bro, why are they moldy? <laughs> I know I dapped up for it. Well, it's but like... <laughs> like they that was the most recent one, and I was skeptical of it. But oh, your most recent trip? Yeah. You ate it with Wendy's? No. No, 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 no. Okay, I was starting from the beginning, bro. Okay, I was supposed to be like, why were Lemon you... Lemon teched it. I oh, tried. Okay. I've done it in ramen. 
ramen? Yeah. Yo, you are wild. Cru- like crushed <laughs> up. <laughs> crushed up just quick okay, as I can. Like minced? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've crushed it up, just put it in like a uh, strawberry <laughs> lemonade, which was really, it ruined strawberry lemonade for a little bit. <laughs> Last time though, we crushed it up and we did it with mint tea, which I'm not a mint boy, so it sucked. But tea in general, if we would have crushed it up better, if we had like a mortar and pestle with some some texture, you know, to really <laughs> dust it up, I feel like it would have been cool. It really wasn't. It was the mint, like that kind of. Fu- I felt like I just drank it with, with toothpaste. Gross. Yeah. I. What else and have also, I done? The reason why I choose shrooms, because, you know, growing up, we'd get drugs from not the most secure sources. You know. Sketchy and we guys. We didn't always have testers and shit. So we you'd we you get a tab of acid and sometimes you take it and you wouldn't know that it's fake until you take it. I've never tested I've, anything. Have you ever had fake acid? Not that I know of. I've never had well, a bad trip. That the bad trip has nothing to do with whether it's No, I not or. not tasted it, but at one point like I would get them you'll on know. gummies. You'll know. And then oh, it was well, just like it's, never a, done gummies it's a gummy. The, like gels too. I've seen recently. But also one of them I one, did a one time gel. I I was like 99% sure it was real because the guy would drop it on the gummies and I knew him and I was like I feel like you're giving it to me. And he gave it to me and a bunch of my friends and we all had a good time. So me and some of the old boys Charlie Pat, we can be bleep some names. Bro, we definitely had some fake shit back in the days, and that's probably a hundred percent like where my bad taste of acid comes from, because like that fake shit, man. It, it, what did it do to you? He had a bad trip. It feels like you. It looks like the tab, you know. Like you, if you get caught on some, I have yeah more than once before. You'll get like caught on something, and then essentially like you'll break out of it, and then essentially something will pull you back, and then you'll just fall back into the same cycle. Like you got you got caught in loops. Yeah, essentially, Dang. Like almost thought loops. Dang. Yeah. And you can break out of them, and then essentially, something triggers it, and you'll go right back into it. Ooh. That's where I think like trauma and weird shit comes into play with that stuff. Mm. Yeah. So definitely got to be careful taking your psychedelics, boy. Definitely. Definitely do it in a, in a comfortable environment. Make sure it's real. <laughs> Make sure it's real. You could test it. See, back in the... See, that's we the one thing. Dumb, right? Yeah, I feel like I started experimenting when I was too young to like... like I didn't even know how to get a tester. And I'm like, I can't order that to my like mom's house. And the first time I got it, it was real. you know. So then the second time I get it, it's not. I'm like, what do you mean it's not real? It's different, you know? It's yeah. also like just even knowing to that aspect. Fucked. Yeah. So, so, what's like a bad trip story? What's that like? I hope no one's, wa- imagine someone's now, watching bro. this. I mean, <laughs> Yo, if you're tripping, turn this off. It is, it is 100. <laughs> 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 Shit's about to get serious. It's 100% what you make it. Yeah. And you'll fall as far as you let yourself fall. And if you don't know how to pull yourself out or have people around you that can pull yourself out, you'll end up... That's where you hear about these stories about people. You know what I mean? It's them going into a bad trip and they can't get out of that cycle. So eventually it's co- it turns into psychosis is what I think. Like you don't have a trip sitter? Did you have a trip sitter when you had a bad trip? We were all tripping. So you tell me. No, that's not... That's not <laughs> trip sitter is literally the DD. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Sometimes like when you trip see sitters your DD like... Drinking, <laughs> It'd be weird. Nah, it has to be like just one of the homies who just tripped too recently with like another friend group, and okay. it's just like, yeah, it won't work. I'll right get now, really big, but with like I'll hang out and smoke. Yeah, yeah. The worst part about it is how long it is if you get some fake shit. Mm. You gotta, you'll right learn some mental fortitude. You know, you learn how to fight through it because acid takes fucking forever to get through. Twelve, fourteen hours. That's one thing I I used to like if I was tripping on some Lucy in the sky with diamonds, I would try to wake up like early that day and try to take it like I used to try to take my definitely before noon, like definitely before noon because like I'm not trying to be up all night and I already know I will be. Facts. You <laughs> time that shit, right? Yeah, if I do, and like then even like the next day and a half. Like you got that, you're faded. <laughs> well, the time you're not I 100 back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the time I tripped alone though, I did it overnight because I wanted to not have like interruption. 
So I just did it at like at nighttime when everyone was sleeping. That makes sense. And that's then, typically when we did it. Yeah. That night. Yeah, I did a lot but of I, solo trip. I enjoy it more. So, like you're saying, see the whole day of all. Like, yeah, like going to the like, stuff. like outside, like seeing people's faces and like, oh man, Ooh, and it's nice to have wild, it be like bro. bright out, and then it goes to nighttime. Yeah, like, true. I hate eye contact though. Sometimes when you're tripping. Every time when I'm tripping. It depends. Sometimes when I'm not tripping. My dog trips out whenever I'm tripping. Like, I feel they like know. she knows. They know. The cats are hella weird. Last time they were pretty cuddly, though. It was cool. Oh, uh, yeah. My dog be looking at me like, Bro. You just want love, and they're like, why are you so fucking weird right now? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> so, they're like, are yeah, you? you're different right now. You I don't... don't look at yourself, and you're like, come on, man. You don't know what it is. Oh, shit. What? What's happening to you? <coughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> The spring, y'all. I didn't know what was gonna happen next. Timestamp. Spoiler yeah, alert. Speaking of some trippy shit. If you got two mind readers in a room and they're looking at each other, who's reading whose mind? Yeah. So the I I guess it depends on who starts reading whose mind first, but it's if they I guess scanning a room, reading minds, and then lock eyes at the exact same time. Do you think that they're reading any mind? I don't think they gotta lock eyes. I feel like if we're talking about just these two people, not even considering anyone else, I feel like as long as they both realize what's happening, they just transcend the way we communicate. Like they don't gotta look at each other, they don't gotta talk to each other, they don't gotta do anything. They can just have that conversation. Like there it is. Like they just get each other. Yeah, yeah, you I just found, think that it. That's kind of like weird. Like, do you think at that point, like, you could hide anything from them, or do you no. think they just know you, like everything about you, like just in that split second? Like, is he just looking at himself so. in the mirror? No, because it's another person with just the same power. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't think you would know everything because. Or what if you just can't read their mind? I don't even think our entirety is like in our conscious at any one moment. There's so much things that you'd be like, "Oh, I forgot about that." That's but where my initial readers. question came: Is it, whose thought is it? Is it either of their thoughts that any of them are reading? Yes, they're reading something that the other person is receiving, but is it their thought? What if it's TV static? Ooh, that's gross. That wouldn't be a power. I feel like it's more of a fucking burden. Like when you go, no, no, no. It's you can read every mind, but when you get to a mind reader and you're trying to read one another's oh, minds, you can't. awesome Edward and Bella. You don't even know. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, you love Twilight. This man, Bella. Like, I feel like you reference I wish Twilight I had my stickers, at least bro. three Wait. times every time <laughs> I'm around. I don't think they're in here, bro. I wanted to find my "This is the ass of a killer" Bella sticker. For another pod. For another pod. Yeah, if you could be a vampire or a werewolf, which one would you Ooh, be, though? Like, 